Hi everyone, Pear from Into Fly Fishing, and in this gear review we'll be having a closer look at the Moonshine Vesper 9 foot 6 weight fly rod. Now you've seen me test and review a couple of Moonshine rods over the last few months, and this specific rod was used in the last episodes of our Stillwater series. In this video we'll look at how the rod performs, how it looks, and who should consider buying it. Once again, right before we dive into the full review, I must mention that Moonshine sent me this rod specifically for the Stillwater series and I thought I'd take this time after fishing it for a couple of weeks to share my thoughts so that if any of you would consider buying this rod, you have some sort of reference. It's important to understand how and where a rod was tested as in my opinion there's a lot more to test on a rod than only casting it in the park. You need to understand it to give a thorough review and how better to understand it than actually fish it for a couple of weeks. I used this 6 weight 9 foot Vesper mainly on still waters and targeting trout and paired it with my Shilton CR3. I used multiple fly lines on it as the fishing conditions and requirements dictated. When sight fishing for trout from the bank in the shallows I used a floating fly line but when the fish started moving deeper we hopped onto the boat and I switched over to a DI3 or even a DI5 sinking line. Most of the time I used a two fly combination which was tied onto the end of a 15 foot long leader. So let's look at where the 9 foot 6 weight Vespa shines. Every person that picked up the rod for the first time said it felt more like a 7 weight. I confirmed the weight with that that is advertised on the Moonshine's website and at 3.1 ounces it's far from being heavy. The reason all of them said that it felt like a 7 is the power of the rod. This thing packs a huge punch and I won't hesitate targeting any fish that you'd normally do with a 7 weight. But please keep in mind it still only weighs 3.1 ounces. The other reason why I think people get a false sense of the rod's weight is because of the chunky grip that Moonshine chose to go with for this rod. But we'll get to that later in the review. As with all other Moonshine series rods, the 6 weight Vespa comes with a spare tip. Now I'll say this again and I'll keep saying it, I can't understand why more manufacturers aren't going this route. I put the action of the rod under where the rod shines section of this review as I appreciate it but anglers who prefer a super fast rod probably won't. Moonshine states that the rod has a moderate fast action which I totally agree with but don't think that the rod is a slouch at all. It has a good recovery rate and you can generate a heck load of line speed with it. So now let's look at where the Moonshine Vespa 6 weight might fall short for your intended application. In my opinion there are no issues with the rod's build quality or performance at all. But the first thing that comes to mind is if you have slightly smaller hands. The rod really has a beefy grip, especially for a 6 weight, and I think that is the reason why most of the people that picked up the rod for the first time thought that it was a 7 weight. I have big saltwater rods that have smaller grips than this. However, having said that, if you have big hands, this probably might be a good option for you, especially if you want to lean into the cast and transfer as much energy into it as possible. Also, bear in mind that the rod is freshwater specific because of the wooden reel seat insert. Let's get up close with the rod itself and look at it in more detail. The rod is shipped in the solid Moonshine Cordura covered tube like all the other rods that we reviewed from them. On the top cap you'll also find a sticker with all of the rod's details on it. It has a webbing handle here in the middle which I pass a rope through when I strap multiple rods together and in that way you're sure that they won't fall out or get lost. Inside the rod tube you'll find a rod sock with five dividers in it one for each section of the rod and one for the spare tip. Now one thing that I've found after using the rod for multiple trips is that when you reinsert the rod sock into the tube it still has the spare tip in it. Be careful when you press down on it because the spare tip is very sensitive and will break easily. Now we get to the beef, the rod itself. Here at the base of the butt section you have a chunky fighting butt that's made from high quality cork and rubberized cork. I'm glad to say that the black aluminum uplocking reel seat has two locking rings which does a great job of keeping your reel secured properly. The reel seat also features a tobacco colored tiger wood inserts which just complements the overall color scheme of the rod. We've already touched on the rod's grip earlier in the video but it's basically a full wells grip which makes the rod feel very powerful but if you have smaller hands you might find that it's slightly too beefy but once again that's personal preference. The grip is made from the same combination of high quality cork and rubberized cork as the fighting butt. The blank has a smooth matte grey finish and an absolutely great action. It's not overly fast but it has a good recovery rate 
and it has a lot of power. You'll surely be able to really lean into fish with this rod. As with all other Moonshine Vesper rods that I've fished before, the clear coat is applied perfectly and there's no signs of smudges or bubbles. Each section has orange alignment dots which allows you to set up the rod that tad faster. So let me share my personal thoughts on how the rod fishes by going through its strong and weak points. Overall, this rod is ideal for still water use or fishing larger rivers. The rod has a lot of backbone, so it can cast big streamers or even combinations of big streamers with ease. The rod is very light in hand if you take into account what you're able to do with it. I weighed it on my kitchen scale and it weighed in at 3.1 ounces. That's super light for a sub $500 rod. Getting a spare tip section when buying a rod is a major plus point in my opinion, especially if you stay or fish in far off countries. For example, a client accidentally broke the tip section of my Sage One 9 foot 6 weight rod the other day. Having that repaired all the way here from South Africa takes up to 3 months. It's something to consider. On the con side, I want to mention beforehand that the views expressed in this review is my own opinion. You might have a completely different experience with a rod. The first point is that I think they could have held back a little bit with the size of the fighting butt and the grip. This would have made for a much more delicate feeling rod. If on the other hand it is kept as beefy, it will actually make for a very good ultra light saltwater rod. This however is not possible with a wood insert on the reel seat. So who should consider buying the Moonshine Vesper 9 foot 6 weight rod? If you're looking for a lake or a big river single hand rod, but want something slightly lighter than an 8 weight, this is a great option. The rod has an amazing ability to deal with large streamers or multiple fly rigs and you surely won't run out of pooling power. Moonshine Rod Company has an excellent after sale service so it will give you that peace of mind to fish the rod hard. I hope that you found this review helpful and if you have any comments or questions please leave them in the comment section down below. If you differ from my opinion please throw that on there too I would love to hear your thoughts. Please subscribe to our channel and turn on the notifications then we can let you know as soon as we release any future reviews or tutorials. Until next time, cheers.